Here we have a very nice looking 2012 Nissan Juke Shiro in white. The car is immaculate as you'll see throughout the video. Also got very low mileage as well for its age. Taking a look at the offside front tyre first. If you just check the centre of the tread depth there. Not a great deal there. We're looking at 3mm of tread on the offside front tyre. Taking a look at the offside front alloys, you can see they are a polished finish. There's one or two light scratches around the spokes, but no sign of any curbing or any scuffs there. Looking down the offside of the vehicle, I personally cannot spot any dinks or dents, looks very clean. Offside front tires, again, lovely clean condition there. You've got these silver mirror caps again there, looking spotless. Driver's door itself, again, lovely clean condition, no scratches or marks to the plastics. Door edge is immaculate, and I personally can't even see any scratches at all in the driver's door. Door sills are spotless, can't spot any dinks or dents at all to the roof. Looking at the rear uh, passenger door, you can see up the privacy glass. Rear passenger door again is immaculate. Um, again, I can't even see any marks whatsoever there. Rear quarter, all very clean and tidy. Rear tyre, a lot better than the front. And there we go, the meter shows 6mm on the offside rear tyre. Looking at the offside rear alloy once again, lovely clean condition. Uh, a couple of minor little marks, the alloy, a couple of scratches, etc. But no signs of any curbing or scuffs at all there. Moving towards the rear end of the vehicle. Take a look at the rear bumper again, no signs of any damage whatsoever. The plastics are all looking great, very clean looking car indeed. You've even got a reversing camera up there, which is a lovely feature to the car. But again, can't even spot any scratches on the loading bay. Take a look inside the boot, lovely clean condition, you've got all your parcel shelves there etc. Again all this tray folds out, you've got your locking wheel, no, no sign of any spare wheel. Um, again lovely clean condition, everything's in good order there. Moving around to the near side rear tyre, if we just check the tread depth there. And again we are looking at just about 5mm of tread there. Looking at the near side rear alloy, once again, a couple of scratches to the spokes, but no curbing or any scuff marks at all to that alloy. In yeah, very clean condition. Near side of the bodywork, again, spotless, no dinks or dents. Rear door edge is clean, front door edge is clean, and both the front doors are spotless as well. Mirror is clean, front quarter, front arch, all looking how it should be. And the front tyre on the near side, once again, we are looking at 3mm of tread there. So front ones have got around 3mm, and you can see there's about 6 or so on the backs. Looking at the uh, near side front uh, alloy again, immaculate condition, no curbing and scuffs, and no scratches on that one either. We've managed to the front end of the vehicle, absolutely immaculate, again no signs of any damage, there's just one or two minor stone chips there, and just one or two minor stone chips on the bonnet, but an immaculate car as you can see. Take a look in the back, of course there's a 5 door hatchback. And uh, again we've got the uh, half leather, well, it's mainly leather, these centre bits here are cloth, but you can see it, they look brand new. The car is, or looks, a brand new vehicle, it's clearly been taken care of. Um, lovely clean condition, not a mark at all, even the carpets are nice and clean, it probably won't even need a valet. Um, looking in the uh, driver's seat, once again a lovely condition, all the bolsters look great, no real sign of any wearing either. And the front passenger seat, once again a lovely condition. Stepping inside the car itself, you can see the dashboard, centre console, etc. It's all immaculate, steering wheels in a lovely condition as well. Now there is two sets of keys with the car, but as you can see it is a push start. But there are the keys anyway, they've got some uh, sort of gel covers on them, so even the keys are protected. And just getting the vehicle started up. As you can see there, no issue at all starting the vehicle to start first time. We are looking at... The dial here, as you can see, all the oil is good, according to the vehicle. The car runs very nicely and exactly how it should. If we just look at the system here, it's touch screen. Except that, you can see the navigation working perfectly fine there, no issues there. All the blurs are working great. You've got your air conditioning there on and off as well. As well, it's in good at working all the radio works fine. Obviously, you've got your CD above there as well, so lovely feature. 24,342 on the clock and no symbols appearing on the dash there. Manual box, taking a look at the paperwork. 
Looking at the V5, the vehicle's had one owner from you, so just one owner on the vehicle. Hasn't required an MOT yet, obviously you get the three years MOT. MOT will run out 26th of the 5th, 2015, so it will require an MOT at the end of this month. So it will require an MOT at the end of the month. Full franchise history with your first stamp there at 16,000 miles. There you go you guys, that is the 2012 Nissan Juke. Very nice looking car, lovely spec vehicle as well. And it will need pretty much no uh, prep at all to go straight onto your pitch.